Hi, this is Elisa Johnston with AverageAdvocate.com, where hopefully we're inspiring you, the average people, to change the world and coaching you and giving you the tools to do that. Um, really quickly, I wanted just to show you this book, which is called 40 Days of Decrease by Alicia Britt Chloe, or Schlo, or Sh I'm sure there's a right way to pronounce that, but I'm not really sh too sure. But um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this book because um, I like it and um, I said I would review it. So those are two good reasons why, and I think it is relevant to world changers. Um, I mentioned it earlier on a blog post um, about how world changers have to sometimes choose to fast, which um, if you read it, I, what I talk about in fasting is this idea of decrease or this idea of like willingly going out of your way to grow your character and to focus in on things, which um, lots of times fasting kind of gets a bad rap um, in this day and age. But if you want to, you can go into that post and kind of see a little bit more about what I was saying. But essentially, I think that if you want to be a world changer, you have to like go out of your way to um, to really focus in on areas of your character that you want developed and fasting is an element to do that and so you know throughout history especially through um, like the Catholic Church and Lent um, there was this idea of fasting during the months of Lent um, in which case I think that's what this book was well I don't think I know that that was what this book was written for specifically is for those people who usually pursue Lenten activities of giving something up um, and really challenging them to look at the idea of of what that is actually like what does that actually mean and so like there's this passage um in the scriptures um the christian scriptures um in isaiah where it's talking about like hey the fast i want is not you know just to stop eating the fast that i really want is for you to actually live a life of justice and to actually like care about people and and I think that that's like one of the challenging verses to me that I've always, that's actually really pushed me into um, becoming an advocate was those, you know, those verses. Um, and so I like that, I don't even think this author mentions those in this book, but this book is really, um, it's kind of like a devotional. I don't know if you've ever done one of those, and I haven't done one for a very long time, but it's just a few pages a day that really challenges you on some aspect or another. And if you're interested, she has like this little historical blurb on um, Lent after that, which is interesting if you like that type of thing, which I don't, so I didn't really pay that much attention to it because it wasn't relevant to me. But for um, just average world changers, like you and I, I think that this book is super awesome if you want to grow in your character because like some things that she challenges that you in are like, today is fast, denial, stop, you know, stop with the whole denial thing and she kind of points out these areas where you're doing that or like fast being intimidated or fast um, willfully, you know, criticizing other people and um, just these really, or, or apathy. And it's just kind of awesome because I don't think that um, I usually like intentionally am like, today I am going to fast being apathetic. I mean, I guess in my life I really do try to do that anyways because that's kind of who I've slowly become over time as somebody who's trying to um, love others and change the world through that. But um, if you are on that path and you do want to love others and you do want to um, change the world, someday by your love for others, this book will get you there, or at least it'll definitely help you get there. Um, so it, it is specifically, I mean, I don't think you have to be a believer, but the audience is for people who are believers in, um, some form of Christianity or another, because she's referring to different, um, biblical passages a lot, but it was really actually pretty good. And, um, it was made so that you could do it uh, before, you know, in the Lenten time period, which is before Easter. So you could do it in those 40 days, which th that was actually the reason I picked it up because that's the time period we do the little black dress project, which has absolutely nothing to do with Lent and giving things up. But the more I was like reading this book, I was like, oh my gosh, the little black dress project, you know, to end human trafficking, that is totally almost, you know, it's like a fast and it's, you know, we could totally be used for Lent if that was um, something that you do. So anyways, I think it, um, if you are looking for a challenge and, um, and you are kind of into social justice, 
um, and you want your character to grow and not just want to like spout off about why we should help people around the world, this, this book will help grow your character. So, um, that I was pretty impressed with it. It actually was like the first nonfiction book I've read in a while, um, which kind of surprised me. So it wasn't too hard to read and probably because it was broken up really easily. And, um, I skipped all the Linton stuff, but it's like two pages each day too bad three pages so um give it a try again this is called 40 days of decrease by alicia Britt chloe chloe all right um again this is elisa with average advocate where hopefully we're inspiring you to change the world and um you can go to um www.averageadvocate.com if you want to learn more about that and kind of coach yourself um through the process of becoming a world changer um i hope you have a great day Bye.